Hey guys, this is Swapna for Tech Nation and this is my review of TVS Jupiter. Let's talk looks first as those are the most important things. At the front Jupiter gets a big headlamp which makes it feel muscular. The tail section is designed neatly. The tail lamps and the indicators blend well into the rear design which is made of metal. It also gets big 12 inch alloy wheels painted in black which its competition misses out on. The front mudguard is made of metal which gives the bike a sturdy feel and the clear lens indicators add on to the looks. When looked from side, the Jupiter does not look disproportionate at all and all the parts of the Jupiter blend in very nicely. The footboard is nice and wide and can accommodate both the male and female riders feet with ease. The seat also is well cushioned for the rear as well as the rider. It is a bit too soft for my liking though. The fuel cap is external and you don't have to get off the bike every time for a refuel. The boot space is also generous and can easily accommodate a half face helmet. There is also a provision for 12 volt supply in case you need to attach a charger. I'm not too happy with the fit and finish of the product. Panel gaps are clearly visible. The side panels are made of metal which give it a sturdy feel. The Jupiter branding on the side panels looks premium and gives an edge over its competition. Enough about looks, let's take it for a spin. The ride quality is decent. The engine is smooth and crispy. It sounds really good when you rev it hard. The brakes are also efficient. It came to a halt very easily. It misses out on the combi brake system from Activa though. The suspension on the Jupiter also felt really well. It managed to soak up minor bumps and did not thud into the potholes. There is a power and eco indicator to inform the rider about his driving technique. The fuel and the speedometers are analog unlike the Maestro. The switchgear quality is also really good and they make a satisfying click when using them. A pass switch is integrated into the upper and lower switch. A first in class feature which none of the other mopeds own. The rear foot pegs can also be opened without much effort as they are accessible very easily to the pillion rider. The pillion does not have to bend every time to open them. I did not mention any technical specifications about the engine or the bike. Why you may ask? Because the average user doesn't really care about them. Just to talk about the efficiency figures, the 109cc engine returned us an economy of about 55km PL. At X showroom price tag of about 50,000 rupees, this is a must buy for those who seek after the Activa and try and wait for 3 months. Go take a test drive if you don't believe me. This is Swapnil signing off. If you're awesome, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.